How's it going everyone, this is Tom with RaymondPie.com. One of the main reasons people choose Android devices is that they are incredibly customizable. However, if you're on iOS 6.1.2 or lower, you can actually jailbreak your iPhone to make it just as customizable, if not a little bit more. So this is the ultimate guide to creating the perfect jailbroken iPhone setup. So to kick this off, we're going to start with the theme. And the theme that I'm using is called Too Simple Theme. Uh, and uh, I believe it's relatively cheap in Cydia, it's about $1 or something very similar and it's very kind of inspired by iOS 7, it's a very flat theme, it's quite colourful, it's quite playful, uh, I really enjoy it, it themes quite a lot on your device, it's mainly icons uh, and there's great icon inclusion, you don't get a ton of icons which aren't themed, uh, but it also themes the notification centre weather, uh, if we went into the weather application, uh, you'll see in a second I'll go into it, uh, but it's fully themed, everything, pretty much everything on your device is themed, uh, and it's kind of similar enough to the stock icons that it doesn't look weird when an icon isn't. Uh, I hate personally in themes when you're using uh, one icon pack and then the rest of your icons are totally inconsistent, but here we are in the weather, uh, there's kind of aspects of this all around your the iOS uh, which are themed like this, but this is a very inclusive one because enti the entire application is actually themed. Uh, but really enjoying Too Simple Theme, definitely worth checking out. Now we're going to chat about the lock screen theme that I'm using. This is called Typo 5, and it's from a custom repo called uh, the Patrick Muff repo. And all of the information on stuff like that, custom repos and all of the tweak information will be in the post on Reb and Pi linked in the description as always. Uh, but this is just a gorgeous theme. This is one of my favourite lock screen themes ever for the iPhone, uh, iPod or anything like that. It's just gorgeous, it displays the time in a really stylish way, uh, and I think there's so much wasted space on the default iOS lock screen that a theme like this really shows it off. That's Typo 5 available for free in the Patrick Muff repo. Now both of the themes we talked about are Winterboard themes. Now Winterboard is the next uh, package we're going to talk about just because it's so powerful. Basically this is a theme selector, it's a theming platform which allows people uh, designers or coders or anything like that to create a theme and then you can select it and apply it to your device. So as you can see I've selected the simple uh, UIs, so all of these simple packages with included within the simple theme and it's just very effective, uh, it's a great way of theming and it makes it very easy to use. Also it's just an incredibly powerful tool and that's Winterboard. Next up we're going to talk about Zephyr. Now this is a bit of an infamous jailbreak tweak. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the jailbreak scene uh, for two or three years now you'll know about Zephyr. So if I just open up two apps here, now use two fingers because this is how I've got it set up, I can actually swipe over and uh, switch between those applications using Zephyr. You can switch it up and uh, customize it so you just have to use one finger. And also I can swipe up from the bottom and that automatically accesses my app switcher. Very useful. This is an incredibly efficient jailbreak to week. It definitely uh, improves iPhone efficiency usage if you get used to using it. Uh, we'll talk about my uh, app switcher in just a second, uh, but that is Zephyr. I think it's quite expensive, but it's definitely worth it, especially if you're planning on using it in the long run. The next tweak is Luna. Now this is a really interesting tweak. Uh, it's one of my favourites on the list, just purely on how simple it is. If I just go ahead and bring down my notification centre on my iPhone here, and then just pull down on the notification centre, you'll actually see that I get this little message, and that says, uh, release to enable do not disturb, or release to disable do not disturb, and it's as simple as that. It's a do not disturb toggle that you can access from your uh, notification centre, and also on your lock screen, you can do the same on your lock screen. Also included with Luna you get these nocturnal banners, which are notification banners just a lot slimmed down and they're less obtrusive. Again that is Luna, available for $1.99 in Cydia. The next jailbreak tweak is the mother of all tweaks. If we just head up into my settings, uh, scroll down you'll see my tweak section and go into Springtimize. This is Springtimize 2. If you're unfamiliar, this is basically hundreds of jailbreak tweaks combined into one. If I just head into my lock screen here, you'll see that I have my hid uh, top bar hidden. So that is for the lock screen theme that I'm using. It just looks better with the top bar hidden. And that's the kind of thing you can do with these. If you go into the icons, you can see that I've resized all my icons according to preference. There's just a thousand, well there's not thousands, but a ton, a ton of options uh, just so you can change and play around with to make your device look and feel more like your own. Uh, there's just too much to cover individually, but it's just a very, very useful jailbreak tweak. If you uh, haven't played around with jailbreaking at all, this is definitely the one to take from this video. It's $5.99 I believe in Cydia, but it's without a doubt worth it. Probably the most important one on the list. 
Next up is iFile. Now this is a really useful jailbreak tweak for certain people. This isn't going to be useful for everyone, uh, but I'm a huge fan of it because I do lots of stuff with theming and stuff like that. But it's basically a file system for your iPhone or, or iDevice. Basically it just allows you to access all of the important files, uh, the basically just root access for your phone. If we can go down to var, uh, we'll go into, for example, stash here, uh, just like that. Let's scroll down to themes. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to possibly change the background of the uh, the Type of 5 theme which we looked at. And you can see that bg.jpg is the image file. And just by replacing that via iFile, you could change the background. So it's very, very simple. Uh, and it's a really nice interface, much like a PC. And it just gives you uh, access to the file system of your device. If you've been waiting to now to find out what app switcher I'm using, it's called Orxo. It's a fantastic jailbreak tweak. It gives you an app preview of the app which you're going to go into, and you can just swipe down and close out of the applications just like this. Obviously, with iOS 7, they've kind of completely redesigned the multitasking, uh, but for iOS 6, at least, this is a very useful jailbreak tweak. You can even scroll over. You've got toggles on the side. Uh, just a little honorable mention, this is iOS 7 Orxo toggles. Uh, it's a winterboard theme which lets you theme the toggles themselves uh, to make them look like the control center toggles in iOS 7. Uh, you can also change the brightness here, which uh, annoys me because it's not got a uh, large enough hit radius. Uh, but when you get it, when you actually manage to tap on the slider, you can change the brightness just like that. Uh, you can even scroll over to the left, the furthest left hand side, and you gain access to media controls. You can uh, change the uh, videos or songs playing. It's just a very useful jailbreak tweak, uh, much more useful than the default app switcher, and very useful in collaboration with Zephyr. Finally, we have the tweak which I get most pleasure out of using uh, on this list. If I just head into Tweetbot, uh, this is my Twitter client of choice. Uh, let's just close all of this rubbish. Go into Tweetbot uh, and just type in a load of letters. You'll see that when I slide up my finger along the uh, keyboard, you can actually move the cursor. Normally, you'd have to kind of tap and hold and get the magnifying glass thing. Uh, and you can actually select text as well. It improves text editing so much. Very useful on iPads as well. This is my favorite tweak for actual functionality. Uh, it just essentially revolutionizes the way you type on iOS devices. Incredibly useful and it's available for free in Cydia. That's swipe selection. Well guys, there we have it. That pretty much wraps up this video. If you have enjoyed or found this video helpful, definitely just give it a like. It really helps out the Redmond Pie YouTube channel. If you have any tweaks or suggestions or anything like that for the perfect jailbroken iPhone, definitely just drop them down below. I'd be really interested to read your guys' responses. Follow Redmond Pie and all of the social links. Those are down below as well. And otherwise, I will see you all in the next one.